Our scripture this week um, comes from Mark 2, verses 1 through 12. When he returned to Capernaum after some days, it was reported that he was at home. So many gathered around that there were no longer room for them, not even in front of the door. And he was speaking a word to them. Then some people came bringing to him a paralyzed man, carried by four of them. And when they could not bring him to Jesus because of the crowd, they removed the roof from above him. And having dug through it, they let down the mat on which the paralytic lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there questioning in their hearts, Why does this fellow speak in this way? It is blasphemy. Who can forgive sins but God alone? At once Jesus perceived in his spirit that they were discussing these questions among themselves. And he said to them, Why do you raise such questions in your heart? Which is easier to say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven. Or to stay, stand up, take your mat and walk. But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralytic, I say to you, stand up, take up your mat and go to your home. And he stood up, immediately took the mat and went out before all of them, so that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, we have never seen anything like this. Let us pray. Holy God, we stop and rest here with you. Your sins are forgiven. You speak these words to that man, the man who couldn't walk, who needed friends to bring him to you, the man who was willing to go through a roof, a roof to get to you. And you said to him, your sins are forgiven. Everyone else was wanting healing for his body his legs to work again. But you wanted to heal his soul. Your sins are forgiven. So we stop here to listen to you speak those words. Your sins are forgiven. Your sins are forgiven. God, forgive our sins. Find that place, that space in us where we need to hear of your grace and mercy, where we need to know we are forgiven. Your sins are forgiven. And Holy One, we stop now. We stop to rest and ask you to think about the people that are weighing on our hearts. Susan's friend died, and please pray for her husband, Chuck. We pray for all those who have died this week. May you comfort their families and friends, for the grief in our nation is innumerable. We pray for your comfort to rest on those who've lost their jobs, have lost their homes, have lost their health insurance, have lost their health. Comfort them with your love. We pray you be with those who are having a hard time right now, who are struggling with isolation and loneliness, who are anxious and depressed, who want the world to go back to normal. Comfort them with your love. We pray that your will may be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. <laughs>